Hi, I'm James, and today I am taking a look at stripping down and cleaning out the cooler on a Dell XPS 15 L501X laptop. Um, so to get things started, we are going to remove the battery and the back panel. Uh, as with some of the other Dells that we've looked at, they actually have some quite good service manuals for these available online. Again, I will try to remember to put the link in the description for this. So we've got that back panel off. We then need to take out this screw from underneath the battery. And drop that in a ramekin just to keep it safe. Then we are going to flip over the laptop and we want to lift the keyboard bezel. So to do this we just want to find a place, let's try here from the keyboard side. There we go, so if we get in there we can start unclipping the bezel and then we're just going to go around with the pry tool gradually lifting this up The easiest way of doing this is basically getting a bit up and then just levering up with the pry tool. And with that, we should now be able to lift it and get the Top edge. Let's open the screen a bit further. It does take a bit of force, it seems, to release this. Let's just check we removed the right screw. Yes, we did. Yeah. So that is made easier. If you go from the back, there's actually a clip you can release in the battery compartment. Pressing on that then frees the panel. Good of the service manual to mention that. Now with that removed, we just need to lift it round and disconnect these two leads here for the touchpad and other buttons and lift that free. And with that done, the next job we need to do is to remove the keyboard. We can see this machine's already been upgraded in the past with a Samsung SSD. But for now we just want to do these two screws at the top. Remove those. And then we should be able to simply lift the keyboard as so. Pull that round, and again release the little ribbon cable here. 
and remove the keyboard. Now the next job is actually a bit of a pain. We have to remove the display assembly completely. So what we're going to do is start by pulling up that tab which disconnects the display from the main board and then we're just going to thread around that cable being careful just to there are some little plastic pieces that sort of keep it in position so we just want to lift it clear of those there we go and we also need to remove this small grounding screw here Use the larger screwdriver to undo that all the way then. And that just uh, the display to the chassis, so we're just going to remove that. The screw on that one is retained. And now we just need to flip back the laptop. And we have two screws here which need to come out. One and two. And to disconnect the Wi Fi antennas here, and while we're doing that, we will also unroute them from the chassis. So we just need to take these and just work around so that when we come to remove the display panel these will just thread through the gaps for them and we're going to pull the laptop back up level and now with these cables here where we can see the antennas run through here we just need to begin to unroute these and pull through cables on that end. So we have that one there. It looks like the other one is not going through the board. Let's just check it goes elsewhere. And then we have the four screws that attach the display. You'll need to be a bit careful when removing these because obviously as you do, the display is then going to no longer be attached to the chassis. And we don't want it to fall down and get damaged. And the last one here. And then we should simply be able to take care of that wire there, lift up and release the display. And of course, we, while the screen is removed, we want to just put that to one side and take care not to damage it at all. Now next we have 17 screws which hold in place this top base cover. God knows why they uh, thought to use quite so many for this. Now these should all be the same, so I'm just going to stick these into a ramekin. And we're just going to work our way around and remove all of these. Seems somewhat excessive, this is not the easiest laptop to get into to clean out. Um, we've previously looked at the 17 inch version of this machine which was quite similar in that regard. In the process we might as well just over here first remove the hard drive because that's obviously going to have to come out as well.
slide the hard drive out and left and then return to working around the screws in the base obviously while this is all off we're going to give a clean in there because that is quite the dust trap on it and it'll just improve the look of the machine giving that a bit of a wipe out Okay, so with those removed, and that looks to be all of them. We may oh, no, one there. And with those removed, you might think, great, we can just unclip it now. But no, we now have to flip over and remove the drive which is screw there for the optical drive so remove that and then we have additional screws under the CD drive Brilliant. So now we're going to go along the top here and remove the remaining screws. There's one there which is quite stuck so we're going to deal with that separately. And these along the top look like... Okay, so with that screw head that was rounded out, sorted, I've managed to cut it down basically and pop it through. We now can turn this over and we should now be able to work our way round just releasing this top panel. Like so. thing we will need to do before we do that is just unplug the fan from the main board and 
with that we have now released that panel and we will thread through there and with that done we can now clean out the fan and also clean out all the dust from this heat sink which is what's causing some of the overheating issues we are also going to remove the CPU and GPU cooler uh, and in doing that then go through and refresh the thermal paste um, I hope you found this video useful reassembly is pretty much just the reverse of the assembly just be a bit uh, of the disassembly just be careful when threading through sort of your aerial leads and bits and pieces like that to make sure you get them in the right places um, the, it's not a massively complicated job this it's just a bit fiddly and time consuming um, just because of the number of steps that you have to go through to get everything freed up but there we go with the screws there and we can now see we have freed up the cooler and we need to get rid of all that horrible dust in there so I hope like I say hope you found this useful thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos such as this